Hi, my name is Chet Falsack, a writer at Valve Software, working on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and you are watching Platform 32. Completely by chance, while I was trying out CS Global Offensive in the PlayStation area this year's E3, I bumped into Chet Falazek, one of the most recognisable faces at Valve Software, so I decided to ask him a couple of quick questions about the game, starting with, what exactly is Counter-Strike Global Offensive? Counter-Strike Global Offensive is uh, taking all the great things about Counter-Strike. It's been the number one uh, but, uh, tactical shooter on the PC for the past 10 years. And we're bringing it to the console. So it's going to be the best version of uh, Counter-Strike where we've taken everything we've learned and put it into one product. The original Xbox version of Counter-Strike was great, but it was slated slightly for not really adding anything to the gameplay other than voice chat. Have there been any changes made to the Counter-Strike formula for this release? So there's a lot of little changes. We did, did a lot of looking at see what the community was doing and how they were improving the game, and so we've implemented those features. Like one idea was, uh, you know, in the original Counter-Strike, you had all these crazy different uh, costumes that the characters were wearing, and it didn't really make any sense. The guy was wearing a snow outfit on dust, and it's kind of odd. Um, so they would do this thing called min model, where they would just have one model per map. And so while we don't just have one model per map, we have one type of model per map, and that helps even easier character identification and how you play the game. As CS Global Offensive is a downloadable game rather than a retail release, what can we expect from the game in terms of the number of playable maps, etc.? 16 maps. Um, we've got a bunch of new weapons and there's new characters for each one. We've kind of extended all that out. And the cool thing is on the, on the uh, PS3, uh, we also have move support and sharpshooter support. So a different way to play the game. Wow, move support? I thought PlayStation had forgotten all about the move ages ago. <laughs> Lol. So chat, how many players will this iteration of the game support? So it'll be 5v5. Oh, that's another thing. We looked at the community and how they did uh, matches and how they did tournaments, and it was always 5v5, so we wanted to bring that over. Excellent news. Thanks, Chet. Global Offensive is planned to launch with bomb defusal and hostage rescue modes, plus two new game modes. These modes are called Arms Race, a team deathmatch mode, and Demolition, a round-based mode which removes weapon and equipment purchasing, instead rewarding players with a set of progressively weaker weapons for each kill. I played a few rounds on Arms Race, but whether it was due to jet lag or tearing up from the nostalgia factor, I was pretty much owned constantly. From what I experienced though, the weapons are pretty much the same and you still run faster with the knife out. The HD graphics look awesome and the levels have loads more detail compared to the rather empty block-tastic originals. But in general, even while using the PlayStation controller instead of the mouse and keyboard, the game felt just like the good old Counter-Strike of old. So it's bound to appeal to classic CS fans, but with the addition of the new game modes and updated graphics, bringing a whole new bunch of players too.